tell me a story of how you came to use what oh, I can't speak. Tell me about how you came to use walking methods in your research. Okay, so I was doing a study with uh, a colleague in Manchester um, with an organisation called The Men's Room. And The Men's Room is an arts and social care organisation that works with young men with experience of homelessness. And we'd spent about nine months doing an ethnographic study within the organisation, taking part in the life of the organisation. But we wanted to find out more about the lives of the young men outside of the organisation. Um, and we were concerned to do a, uh, use a form of interviewing uh, that allowed the young men to speak with confidence about their own skills and experience and that didn't model um, police interviewing that many of them had experienced in their lives before. How did you introduce that idea to the young men that you were working with? Well, in a way, they kind of introduced it to us because we've been having ongoing conversations throughout the research um, and uh, we'd introduced the idea of um, finding out more about their lives outside of the organisation and it was actually a young man who said to me one evening well if you really want to find out how young men survive in the city then you should go out and talk to men in the city um, and this seemed to be a provocation to to get mobile and we decided to kind of follow that idea uh, in developing the approach. And what worked well about this approach? Well, I'd say two things worked particularly well. The first is the kind of nature of a side-by-side -side encounter, um, which felt very different from a face-to-face -face encounter. Um, and, you know, I think the men literally knew where we were going. A lot of them had thought about the routes and places through the city that they wanted to lead us to. And so literally they were leading the interview uh, from place to place. And I think it just allowed for a more relaxed, encounter in which we had these moments of intense conversation and intense listening but also moments where we just quietly walked side by side but also it brought space and place into the interview in really interesting ways and sites like car parks and public statues were really important places um, in the day-to-day -day lives of these young men and the ways in which and, and gave us really in, interesting insights into their survival strategies in the city. And is there anything you would have done differently? Yeah, I mean, I feel that the interview approach worked really well um, and the kind of invitation was to lead a walking tour of city centre sites that they associated with their own survival. So we walked and talked through the city and when we arrived at places, we asked young men to take a photo and if they wanted to, to tell us a story related to the site. And at the end of the research, we wrote these interviews up as, as case studies and um, we included the photographs in them. Um, but really, they kind of became illustrations uh, for the case. And I think um, we could have worked much more both with the young men and you know, with each other uh, in the analysis around that visual material um, and I think if I were to use the approach again then I probably would give more thought to that. And what advice would you give to other people planning to use walking methods in their research? Okay so I think walking interviews are a great approach but the first bit of advice I, I'd give is consider whether this is the right approach for your research um, and uh, I think if you think it might be, then I'd talk to the other people involved. So if you're working with an organization like we were in this case, talk to them about the practicalities, about the plans, about your intentions and, and why you think it's a good approach. Um, I think if you decide to, to, to use this approach, I think it's really important to consider things like safety when you're moving through the city because it involves you know, moving across roads and down busy, you know, you know, busy streets and stuff like that. So I think it's really important to think about how you take care of each other um, when you're involved in an intense conversation in the city. Um, I think the you know, final bit of advice I'd, I'd give is to consider how you want to make a record of these interviews because you, using technology like audio recorders is one approach, but it's not the only approach. Uh, and it's perfectly possible to take still photographs and to make notes on your return. Um, so again, think about what's the best approach for you in terms of recording the interviews.